Now, a lot of stuff in this video is going to be speculation. However, I still believe there are valid reasons to be excited for the sub tick system. But times are tough, so before we begin, here's Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars. And there's a lot of skins to choose from. So visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. But now let's go back to the video. Before I became a full-time YouTuber, I used to work in IT security and administration. That's right, I was a computer Whiz, managing wireless systems, repairing computers, offering advice to businesses on how to improve their IT infrastructure, all that jazz. And let me tell you, one of the softwares that we used back in the days was Wireshark. Pretty cool to see that it's still being used today. I guess good software never dies. Anyway, for this video, I want to use Wireshark, which you can use to monitor network packets, to see if we can figure out sub ticks. So I went to three different servers, a 64-tick Valve official server, a 128-tick community server, and finally a Valve official official server and CS2 that uses subtick. And let me tell you, the results were pretty damn interesting. Basically, what I did was filter out 10 seconds of a long <coughs> packet capture that I did to the servers. From that, I logged the packet numbers, the timestamp, the time between packets, which is the most interesting part, the source being me, the destination obviously to the server, through UDP protocol, the length of the packet, and all that port stuff at the end. So by checking out the 64 tick server from Valve, you can see the time in between each packet that I captured here. As you can see, they're not all the same. They're some variable. See what I did there? But the cool thing to know is if I average all the time in between from all these packets, I get 15.62 milliseconds. Now, why is that interesting? Well, if you divide one by 64 tick, you get 0.0156. And if you multiply that by 1000, you'll convert the seconds to milliseconds, which is 15.625 milliseconds. Sure makes it look like I'm playing on a 64 tick server. We can also see that I grabbed 10 seconds and each second has roughly 64 packets. This is too good to be true, but it seems to me, simply speculating, that all this confirms the server's tick rate. Moving on to the 128 tick community server, we can see the average millisecond between packets is 7.81 milliseconds. Does this match 128 tick? Well, if we do one divided by 128 tick, multiply that by thousand, we get 7.81 milliseconds. So yeah, I feel like it kind of does. And get this, the total packets that I captured per second on this server during the 10 seconds that I filtered out were exactly 128 packets per second. Finally, let's go to the elephant in the room. Now on this CS2 server, we see the average millisecond between packets being 7.84 milliseconds. This is pretty damn close to the 128 tick server in CSGO. And get this, each second captured roughly 128 packets. What we can gather from this is that based on this capture, it matches the 128 tick community server more than the 64 tick server. But we're not done there. Notice the fastest and slowest times between packets. We got as slow as 18 milliseconds all the way down to just 0.015 milliseconds. That is insanely fast. But if you look at the 128 tick server, fastest and slowest are closer to each other and fastest doesn't even come close to the sub tick server. 0.015, that's so fast, you could pretty much call it instant. Oh, isn't that what sub tick is all about? But why do we see such a huge gap from the fastest and slowest time between packets here? Speculating, once again, but notice with every two packets comes the same pattern. We get slow time, then fast time between packets, Slow time, then fast, slow time and fast, slow time and you get it, right? So, speculating again, Valve's sub-tick system is just too good to be true. So, they had to optimize it. And this is how they did it. Basically, the important stuff in the game, like shooting, is sent instantly. And the boring stuff, like throwing a grenade, is back in the bus. Now, that would be pretty cool, right? I mean, if this is the case, and I don't know, you know, I'm simply speculating. Now, is subtick real? Yeah, I think we can say it's real. Or at least the time between looks completely different from the 128 tick server. So Valve are using something different for this CS2 server. And what about speed? Is subtick fast or better than 128 tick? Overall, I don't know. But according to this, it seems the fastest time between packets is as fast as it possibly can be, with the drawback of having super slow as well. That's what I get from this info. It's honestly awesome. Let's do this one last time before we end the video so I don't get sued. I am speculating. Peace.